guys, Josh the Retro Regamer here. I want to talk to you about the Waterfield Switch Pack. So a year ago, I reviewed the original City Slicker case that they came out with for the Nintendo Switch. Now they've released a kind of middle of the road case that's between their travel bag, multiplayer, large case, and their City Slicker or their pouch. This one's kind of sits in the middle of the road. And so I do a quick breakdown of it and check it out. And let's review it and see what we think. All right, so here's what we got. So this is the original Waterfield City Slicker case. Um, this came out last year, right around the time of the Switch, and basically was, I mean, it was a pretty good case. I did a review on it. Um, I got it pretty early on. I was an early adopter on it. I really like it. I've used it a lot. Um, my biggest complaint with it is storage space. Um, I didn't opt for their bigger unit because, I mean, it just was kind of unwieldy to me. It's like carrying a sack, <laughs> uh, and I didn't really want that, and it was really expensive, and I just wasn't on board. But now, they have their new kind of in-between model here. Um, they also have a pouch one, but, um, so this one, let me just show you uh, kind of what it looks like here. Um, so this one is their new uh, switch pack, is what they're calling it. Um, and they had a production run that was supposed to be on March 15th, but I think they had an earlier production run for very early model units um, because they actually, I ordered this four days ago, five days ago, and they shipped it out. Today's the 12th. Um, so I got it a little bit ahead of time. So I wanted to go ahead and do kind of a review of it because I think this is going to replace this one for me uh, if everything kind of lines up. So you can see I've got a bunch of switch accessories and things out here. I want to kind of just see what we can get to fit in it and kind of do a quick review over it. Um, so first off, it comes in your big old plastic bag, like the other one did, um, and it comes with your, you know, their little book pamphlet here showing their other features and stuff, you know, they do messenger bags and travel bags and all kinds of stuff. So, here's the City Slicker case, um, and then they had a pouch that's just basically a, a thin, small little pouch, and then the multiplayer pro case is the big one that I was like, I don't really want that huge thing, and it was kind of pricey. So, let me uh, open this up. So it's got two zippers here, um, two zippered areas. Uh, the zipper's really thick, which I like. Um, it seems pretty solid. Um, I, I really like that there's like a, a bit of leather or um, nylon there, that, like right by the zipper. Um, it's pretty smooth. It also has a front flap that's magnetic, but the magnets are embedded in, and it closes so much better. Like so much better because one of my biggest complaints with this one once you kind of have it stuffed you kind of have to get your little pegs here lined up in order for it to really like snap closed and feel like it closed um, so I'm not a huge fan of that so I really like this front flap they've got here it kind of looks like a um, like a shaving kit you know or like a travel bag like a travel uh, toiletries bag or something um, but I mean it seems pretty solid, so let's open it up. It is kind of weird to me because it's got two zippers, um, but there's not two different sections. It's all just one big section because you can see right here. I'm going to put my hand through the back right there. So, um, and then, oh, here we go. Inside, oh, they stuck my game card in there for me. That's pretty nice of them. Um, and then you've got the strap here. Um, at least that's what it looks like. Yeah, I guess this is the shoulder strap or something. Yeah, so I guess if you wanted to hook up the shoulder strap, you can. I'm not going to use that. Someone said that over here. So let's take a look here. So we got a couple different pockets here. So this is your primary pocket for the Switch. Um, looks very similar to the inside of this pocket, which they had here with the little red little um, case there. So I'm going to slide this out, and we're going to see if my Switch will just slide right in there like it did over here. So there it goes. Same thing, you got your little microfiber pad there. You still got a little pocket there. Um, so that's smooth. You know, it fits with the Joy-Cons on it as well, which is really nice. And um, then they advertise you can put some controllers and stuff in here. So I'm just going to see what all I can get to fit and kind of play around with a couple different configurations. So if I really want my Pro Controller to go in, actually be easier to do it on the back side. Maybe that's why they did zippers like that. Okay, there we go. The Pro Controller fits really snugly in there, covers over the lip. Um, and then in here, you could put your, uh, I guess you could put your power adapter, your extra Joy-Cons. Can't fit. 
Oh, I can almost fit this in there, actually. Oh, I could... Yeah, I can make that work. So if you wanted to do an extra controller there like that, you could probably shove it in there. Um, looks like there's enough space you could also fit it in right there. Huh, that's pretty cool. Alright, so let's try this. I want to put a couple extra Joy-Cons here. Okay, so you got two there. So you can actually fit four Joy-Cons in that little pocket there. So if you really just wanted to have a multiplayer pack, it's kind of sticking out a little bit, but let's see, let's see. If I just did that, if I just did the controllers, it's essentially three controllers. <laughs> I don't think all that's gonna fit. Eh, it's a little snug, but let's see. Okay, zip it up, zip it up. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> So all that fit in there, and then you could uh, you could put something still up here. Let's see, I um, that's why I got the game card holder. I was hoping it would fit in this little pocket here. Okay, cool. So I can put all my games in there. Snap it down. It holds ten games, I think. Um, and you still have your little back case back here. Um, and I could put my headphones. Um, maybe an extra cable, you know, um, charge cable or something like that in here. Um, and I could actually still fit my battery pack because I got a a pretty slim battery pack here. Um, I got it off of Amazon. It's pretty cheap, little thin thing here. Can't remember the name of the company. That's their little insignia there, HI, I guess. Um, but it's a 10,000 um, mAh, and uh, it basically will charge the switch fully one time um, or sustain it for quite a while. Um, so actually, I'm gonna open this back up. See if I can get that to fit in there too. Um, in the little front slide pocket right here with the screen. And there we go. Wow, that's that's a whole lot more than I was expecting to be able to fit in there. Um, I didn't expect to get all those controllers in there. So basically, I've got three sets of Joy Cons um, because one's attached to the Switch. Pro controller, so I mean that's four player right there. I've got four player with full controllers, or I mean I guess eight players if you do just one Joy-Con each, um, and ten games pretty easily because I can just slide them in the little card slots here um, and set them in there. So that's that's pretty amazing. So no room for the dock or any of the other stuff. Um, no room for the charge cable, but I mean I mean for the power adapter. But I can get the my, get my little. Uh, um, just the charge cable itself. Like here's the HDMI. Uh, let's see. I've got the charge cable here. Yeah. Here's my little charge cable, and I could, that I use for the battery pack, and for the switch. I mean, I could just stick that back here too. Um, I mean, it is stuffed for sure, but I don't feel like anything's like gonna break or really push anything because it's all so well protected. It was very padded inside too. I wasn't expecting it to be that padded but there we go I mean that's the whole thing right there I mean that's awesome that's a whole lot more than this thing can hold I mean this is great for kind of a pick up and go you know throw your switch in there have you get five games up here um, kind of throw it in the car and go but that's um that's amazing to have that much storage um, in that in that kind of a in that kind of a space well let's try another quick configuration real quick here um, let's see if I took out some of the controller pieces, like let's say I just wanted the Pro Controller. I really wanted to see if I could potentially get the dock in here. So if I did go, you know, over to somebody's house and wanted to be able to throw it up on the TV or something like that, uh, let's see if we can get that to fit. I'm gonna take out the Pro Controller as well. All right, so I'm throwing the dock. Okay, so it's plenty deep to hold the dock. Um, so that's good. Um, it does take out your your pocket here almost so let's see what we can get in there looks like we could get one of these in there pretty easily still one of the containers and I could actually put the joy cons even inside of the handle so earlier when you had when I had it in there I could have put the joy cons in the handles and stuck even more stuff in here holy cow I didn't even think about that. <laughs> um, you know so I could still I could probably do this um, let's see I'll pop that in there Yeah. Okay. So let's see if that will. Again, you can tell it's a little bit of a tight fit. It kind of pokes out a little bit. Let's see. That might be too tight of a fit. Oh, that's not horrible. 
Okay, I could take out my controller there. I mean, it, it pops out a little bit, but um, but there you go. That's got the dock in it. Okay, so I could, you could get a controller in there with the dock. Um, it's going to be a little... It's going to pop out a little bit. You might want to take out your cables from here. Maybe put them inside instead. Um, just so it's not poking out the back so much. Um, you know, like if I stuck these in here or something. Or um, I've also got a travel adapter one. I haven't used yet, and uh, that would be great too. You could stick that in there. Um, so if you did want to throw the dock in there, you could throw in your Joy Cons like this. You know, take your uh, you need your HDMI cable. So instead of the travel one, I would probably do the actual adapter. Um, I'd actually, do this guy right here. You know, your Nintendo adapter. So let's see. Probably throw that in there. Throw that one in there. I don't need the. I'll put the battery one back in the other side. Let's put our power adapter in here. Let's close it up. I also like the inside. I like the texture there. And the orange, it's really nice. So there we go. It zips right up. Oh, yeah. I mean, there it is. Like, oh, I didn't zip that back. Doesn't stick out that much. But I mean, okay, so this has got the dock, the switch, my extra power pack, four, well, six total Joy Cons, and you could probably get one of these to fit. It'll be a little snug, so you might want to be careful on that and kind of maybe make a switch up. You also could probably still fit the Pro Controller because um, it's pretty similar profile. Um, so if you really wanted to do that, um, I'm impressed. I think this is going to be my new travel case. Um, completely for the switch because um, I can take everything that I want to have with me pretty much and and go um, so kudos to them I was hesitant on this product um, I know they said that they you know were listening to feedback and trying to come up with a good solution for everybody and I mean I'm just that's impressive I would definitely suggest a very thin um, power pack the one I had before was this guy um, which was a little bit too chunky. Um, you want to go super, super thin if you can. So like this one is probably only about half an inch thick, whereas this one's a little bit over an inch, like an inch and a half. So I would suggest getting as thin as you can to slide into something like that. I mean, something like this could work, but it's going to bulge so much. Um, you know, like it looks like it will work even better with this case. With this case, that was definitely not possible. <laughs> Um, but I could use the bigger power supply even with this one too. So, um, that's really impressive. I'm, uh, I'm really kind of shocked at that. I mean, you can see that's, that's kind of pushing on it a little bit. I don't know that I would actually do that cause I don't want to hurt the controllers. Um, that, that shoves all of this back a little bit too much. This gives it a little bit more room there to close everything up. So, um, yeah. So overall, I'd say this is a great product. I love the handle here. That was one of the biggest complaints that I had about this um, you know there wasn't a handle easy way to hold it they did give you this little loop here so like when you were pulling it out you could just like slide it out from the loop um, which that was a cool idea um, but this is really nice and I really love this front pocket I love that their game card fits in here um, it makes it makes it seem like they're actually thinking through you know their other pieces and how they fit with their products I mean cuz like I mean it, it it would fit kind of in the back here on this one and I could probably have shoved it in here like that um, you know if you wanted to on the city slicker so if you're not looking for a ton of storage space you just want something that basically is going to hold the switch maybe a couple joy cons um, I also got my little um, shoulder straps in there so I mean I could throw those in there pretty easily as well um, you know so if you're looking for something that just holds a few games it's gonna be a quick like grab and go smaller profile still love the city slicker love the you know leather flap the magnets here um, but if you're if you're looking for something where you could potentially take a couple extra controllers um, a dock all of that have it all in a nice bundled up case I mean this isn't that huge really I mean it's not really that big comparatively um, it's not the big giant suitcase looking one like they had so there you go I think you guys should give it a shot um, you know it's like got the ballistic nylon and leather everywhere they've got a couple different uh, color options so I'm I'm really impressed with this I was very hesitant to see what they were gonna come up with 
um, and see if they're actually, you know, taking in all the feedback and going to give us a good product. But I'm I'm pretty shocked, and I actually I I totally recommend this and think you guys should go for it. Um, if you're looking for a good switch case, it's kind of all inclusive, kind of will hold everything. I did want to see if a game would fit up here too. Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, it's a little a little tight. It's that's pushing the edge of the. It's like right on the seam there. I don't know if you can see. Um, so if you want to do a game like that, so you have your, I mean, it's still closed. Like it closed fully and the magnets are holding it down. But, um, so if you want to take a, a game with you, you might want to stick it more inside or somewhere else if you want to have like the manual or whatever. But I would say just get the game card holder and throw your games loose in there. Or if you have something else to hold the games, um, I think that's pretty cool. So if you haven't seen this, uh, you basically just slide them in there like this. Um, oops. This is the first time I've used this. Let's see. There we go. So it sits pretty snug in there. Holds it in. You know, protects your pens and everything. And then you just throw your games in there. And then you're good to go. So there you go, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know if you've checked out anything from Waterfield before. Um, and what you think. If, if this is something that you're interested in. If you would recommend it. Um, and, you know, if you've had any experiences with them before. And uh, otherwise, I'd say give it a shot.